if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, remember that crazy video I made the other day uh, about the mystery piece that broke our vapor blaster? I found it. I can't thank you enough for all the comments and suggestions and check this, check that. Um, it was really just plain driving us crazy and and there uh, quite a few of you kept talking about like a check valve or, or something and we're really focused on the water side and I thought you know I need to go back and just look at this and as I looked at the machine there were no check valves that I could see this is where we had the uh, obstruction the, uh, the the screw that basically got wedged in here so it really could have been anything this side of it because the air comes this way and so what I did is I went back I just really focused on well what do I have from this direction out and as I go back and look at my assemblies and parts and pieces uh, you know what could have I touched when I built this or what could have failed or whatnot I really I just I just couldn't find anything and so I gave it a break for a few days uh, you saw in the last video I even disassembled the regulator some of you had uh, ideas to check parts diagrams that would have been a great idea too to go search the brand and I just plain couldn't find that little screw there was just nothing in there and then I found it so let me show you what I do let me grab the original all right, this is a cool idea. And because I can't put photos in the comments on YouTube, one of you talked about, you know, save it for some day. And we actually do that how to wrench. This is just our bolt bin uh, area to go grab some supplies. They're pretty labeled by the size of the fastener. These are cheap little trays, got off Amazon and put some links below, but um, really cool uh, to get these, you know, old bolt bins you can find at farms and garage sales cheap. And then, uh, customize it. I love this because I can pull this out and then take it with me uh, where I need to go work on. All right, but check this out. Uh, I actually have a hmm bin and this is just a bunch of stuff that's like, oh, what did that come off of? Or, or uh, maybe I'll want to look back at that someday. And look what made it in there is we got our mystery uh, piece. Another really good example was uh, that one you left in the comments was to Google this image. And I, I didn't stop and take a good enough still photo, but I think that's something that um, definitely was a great idea and I should do that in the future. But uh, over the weekend, I just, I really thought about it and thought, well, what the heck, what could have been happening here? So I started looking at the pieces and the build um, of the airline system. And so this is the typical tubing that uh, will press in here and obviously make a, a quick release uh, fitting. It's really easy to work with. I've recorded some of this to do a total how-to video on how this stuff works and why I use it, but uh, check out what I found. Let me reposition the camera. All right, our little mystery piece, and what I did is I took a look at these fittings and happened to notice that one of them you could not see through. And look at that. Hey, does that look familiar? Look at that. So there it is. It was in one of these fittings. Uh, on the wall and what's interesting is I've never messed with that screw or seen or really noticed it in there but so here's another one that uh, does not have it in there you can see it was same manufacturer these came in the same kit I've used these uh, I don't know how many times and this one has it but this one does not. And so I wanted to show you basically how these work and let's take a look at it because it makes me wonder if I have any other restrictions where I've used these like on an air tool or something and that I just plain, I don't want that, that in there. So let's take a look at it. But basically you take your appropriate size line and you're gonna just snap that in there. You'll fill it hit bottom and then it's it's tight and it's good to go. And if you want to release it, you pull the blue tab down in this case and then pull it off. So that's what I mean by really easy to work with. You can cut your lines, you can repair lines, make it really good and fast. And what I noticed is now that I push this line in, we got that screw that's loose in there now. So I'll remove it and you can actually see it goes back down. So what this does, which is you know kind of cool the idea is is if you had a tool or something you wanted to uh, remove from the system it appears to basically hold the air uh, so that you could you know continue on working in the system somewhere else or just not use that accessory 
um, would actually act as like an, an on off uh, switch if you will so uh, here I'll go ahead and install that you can see it pop loose um, let me show you something here too so So I felt uh, the amount of air that's coming through there and it is definitely being restricted. So this is something that I would not want in there. I would say in the majority of the case of my airlines because I'm quote unquote hardwiring them in and not looking for any kind of safety or check valve or anything in there. So I'm gonna have to go back to any of my fittings I have like this and just simply remove that uh, because I don't want it. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and try and do it now and see how easy it comes out. Yep. And the question is then, what's on the other side? Look at that restriction in there. Now for a vapor, had me curious enough, I went to my little uh, bin where I keep all my, you know, garage extras or supplies or replacement fittings or, you know, this these kits are so cool that they have all, you know, tees and elbows and, coupler lines and you know all kinds of uh let's see if i got any elbows handy yeah there's a nice 90 degree elbow so it's really fast easy to work with um but what i i looked at all of these and none of them have the check valve in when they're short okay so what it looks like kind of the clue to me to go through all my airlines and check it out is to find any of these long body ones and i want to get rid of them or just replace them out ironically enough i'm glad this happened because it defeated one of the design purposes that i built into one of my lines so let's take a look at that and show you so here's a shop reel that i put up to obviously access about half of the shop i'm going to take this uh this quick line and put a t and plumb a line all the way over so i could just directly have air to all the accessories over in the quote unquote machine shop fab area but what you can't see is this line here this like i said this is so easy when the air pressure is off i can if i get any condensation or whatnot i didn't put a drip leg in this because it's just so easy to access for me right there but that line in the ceiling is intentionally all the way across that ceiling okay at an at an angle pointing down so that i can uh drip any water off. if i ever see condensation there you hopefully it catches it all at the water separator but uh, when you go long distances it's best to have some drops so I've got a T that goes up and then once you get into the roof area here okay once that line comes down there it's actually at a, at a slope all the way to the highest point so on the one side it'll drip down and any condensation should be able to be exited at the uh, at the real housing and the other side comes along here okay and goes to right here okay so that's where this is hooked up i'll just put that back in there now and you could see that my design was to allow to have this to be a a drain if you will okay with that check valve in there it would just build up interesting enough i've had no water in the system at all so it's another thing that I would have noticed, oh shoot, I got water in there, I need to drain that. And as I would have dumped that drain, I would have went, wait, what a second, why am I not you know, releasing this water? And it would have been caught at that point. But I learned some about this product. The crazy thing with a lot of this stuff is it comes with no directions and you're just using information you have from this or that or whatnot. And something that doesn't seem like it's rocket science. I mean, we've been using, you know, compression lines like this on, you know, semi brakes and trailer brakes, and and uh, I've even done custom choppers on their air ride. I mean, we've been doing it forever. I've never seen anything that um, gave me any clue or indication that there was a design check valve in that. Now I know, and now I can make things how I want. Because if you think about it, anywhere that I'm supplying air to a piece of equipment it's unlikely that I'm going to want that restriction for any of my applications. Definitely to vapor blasting, there's no way, uh, which in my case there was none of these blocking the vapor blaster, but there's no way I want to buy this big 
high CFM air compressor only to have it be restricted by a fitting. Uh, and it was really one of the original problems that we were having with our smaller air compressor is that we had went to this smaller, I think it's quarter or three-eighths line, I think it is. Apologize, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but this is half inch. And the problem was is the adapter had the small quarter inch line uh, hole even though it was threaded to a big adapter so there's a big restriction so we had to go and drill that out we took those fittings and actually drilled them out as big as they could go so that we did we weren't restricting air you know right at that fitting and it just it reduced uh you know the purpose of what we were trying to do and that's a lot of cfm to this blaster so once again these lines are so cool you can actually see how i've just got them running you know um, all the way to the other side of the shop we got i'll just walk down here we got a real nice, uh, you know, quick fitting here to grab onto. This used to all be equipment all the way over here. Matter of fact, you can see the excess of line that I have going here uh, just because I was going to make an intentional video on how to use all this stuff. Still might, but this video is kind of knocking out uh, the exposure of those folks that don't know about it. But man, how cool is that? That we found the problem. All right, my friends, there you have it. Super stoked. Just wanted to share that back with you since you were also instrumental and uh, give me ideas to look forward and uh, try and uh, figure out what we had going on. So I'm going to get back at it. And uh, we got a lot on the plate this weekend for Turner Wrenches. So as always, my friends, make it a great day. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And keep wrenching. Talk to you again soon.